To see reports and insights for CK-12 assignments within Schoology, you can start by going to the gradebook. CK-12 will pass back the grades for any assignment you have made where you have enabled grading correctly. There you'll see the point values based on the total points that you've set. So a percentage of the score based on that point will be passed across and you'll be all set in terms of how that shows up within your gradebook. To access more detailed information, however, go to any particular assignment. In this case, I could open this 2.0 lesson with practice. And students get dropped directly into the lesson itself, but you as a teacher have one intermediary screen. You can go ahead and click preview assignment and drop straight into the assignment, or you can click on this view reports option. That will open up the class report for any assignments that were from CK12 that you assign within Schoology. Here you can see that your clicks, real world applications, videos, those learning opportunities that don't have kind of a clean percentage score have a complete or incomplete within CK12. So check mark or just blank. And it matches the full or no credit for the point value you have set in Schoology. For practice, however, you can see that students have reached their goal of 10 correct. So they get full credit for that assignment, but may have different skill levels attached to that. So in this case, this particular student did 12 questions to get 10 correct, has a skill level that's proficient, did all the easy ones right, and most of the medium ones right. And you can actually dig down and see the specific questions and answers that that student completed. You can pick a different student and see that this particular student still got 10 correct, but it took almost 20 questions to get there, and their skill level is at the beginning level. So you do want to go back and work with that student so that they have a better understanding, even though they get full credit for completing their homework. You can also see the time spent on this, and that might be a good indication that maybe this particular student wants to slow down, read through all the questions, figure out what they're doing, and go from there. A score of practice that's less than 100 means the student hasn't completed that homework goal of 10 correct, in this case has only answered two questions correctly, and that's not even enough to determine a skill level. So I would encourage that student to go back and try that particular practice some more and try to aim for that goal of 10 correct. A quiz, on the other hand, is a clean assessment percentage score. So in this case, this student got a 67%. This student hasn't started that assignment yet. This particular student tried this quiz twice because they're set with multiple attempts. So you can see the details here, details here. If I want to give them another chance, if they used up all their attempts, I can discard a particular attempt. I'll still see their score, but it won't count against them. And then you can dig down and see the answers as you go through. So you get the more detailed information, question by question components for practice and quizzes, or that full or no credit for a particular assignment. If there's something else that a student hasn't done, in this case, you can see here, this particular student has started this assignment at least, but has yet to turn it in, I would go back and encourage them to turn that particular assignment in. The other option within here, beyond reports, for anything that's part of a 2.0 Flexbook lesson is to go to the insights. So I'm gonna click that and it is going to open up this assignment and automatically open up insights for me. Now you can see here that the Schoology frame pops the CK12 window down to a tablet view. So I'm gonna expand this so that I can see the insights side by side with the content that's covered here. If I click on the whole class, I will get a grid that maps engagement to the skill level and practice or the matching quiz percentage if it was a quiz that was attached. And I can drill down into any particular student. Skill level is developing, barely engaged with this lesson and spent just over a minute with the particular content. This student, however, has a much higher engagement level with the content, spent over six minutes reading through the lesson and is struggling with the content. So that would allow me to get a sense of how students are doing based on the time and effort and engagement that they have. And that might help me drill into where I could support them. If I click on the details or I click on their name on the right, it will open up that time on read, skill level engagement. And actually I can scroll through here and see how they're doing. If you get locked out for a second, go ahead, scroll down, reopen that up, and we'll click on Katie again, and you can go down and see how they're doing.
you can see here the time on read, that skill level, engagement, and actually scroll down to see where they spent their time on this particular lesson. See here, maybe I would encourage the student to go back and check out these inline questions because it doesn't look like they spent any time on there and that might help her understand the content better. In addition to any individual students piece, if I click back on that whole class, below this chart, I will see my insights and recommendations. Here I could have students explore these Plix interactives. I can click on any one of those and it will jump there and encourage them to try that out a little more. Those are usually good indications of students' opportunities to explore and work with. Maybe they wanna go back and check out a prerequisite concept, remind them to answer their goal of 10 correct. You might even see here are some of the questions your students struggled with and those will be great opportunities to start a class with those particular questions. I can go ahead in and collapse this down close this out and go back into my lesson. Once again, you can open up any lesson, see the insights, click on the view reports option to open up your full detailed report, or go back to your gradebook to see just the scores included along with any other non-CK12 assignments within Schoology.